Welcome back, Controls Champions. I am really excited to talk about this today. I have had this on my mind for literally years, and we're finally doing it. We are making the PLC Programming Cookbook. So, my goal is to help people learn how to program PLCs and to help people be more efficient in programming PLCs. And when I thought about this from all the different angles, um, I, I thought, hey, programming cookbook, this is the thing. So normally people learn how to program a PLC with a specific manufacturer's product and environment. And there's certainly something to be said for that. It's nice to start small and work from there, but a really good PLC programmer always understands beyond just how a certain manufacturer does something, understands bigger concepts, understands the concept of not just how Allen Bradley or Omron or GE or Siemens does a contact and coil or addresses tags or variables, but how does uh, any, any kind of simple to complex concept work? How does program organization work? How do I put together sequences or blinking or machine modes or anything else? I want to talk about the concepts at a high level. We're talking about cookbook here. This is a selection of recipes, different versions of different things. So if I want to do a sequence, maybe I like this kind of sequence better, that kind of sequence better. I'm going to talk through, and I've already recorded a number of these. I got a bunch more coming. Um, I talk through the hows and whys and what's inside of each one of these programming constructs. How does it work? How do I change it for my application? Why would I pick one over the other? How do I do it in this language or that language? So just like any cookbook, it's pick your recipe, modify as needed. With this thought in mind, I had to select an environment to show you all of these examples in. And like I say, I'm trying to be manufacturer not specific. I'm trying to express high level concepts in a way that is accessible to everyone. So spoiler alert, I chose Codasys. I wrote a whole article on what the different features were that I think are important for education and all of the different applications that I considered. So check it out on the blog. I'll leave a link in the comments. So first of all, I want this to be accessible to everyone. I want you at home or at work or at university or wherever you are to be able to see what I'm doing on the video, to be able to download my example file, to be able to run it yourself. So it has to be free and it has to have a simulator. I don't want you to have to buy a PLC just to learn how to program PLCs in general. I think that makes sense. Beyond just those two things, I also want to make sure that the software has the capability to run different languages. Some manufacturers only support Ladder, for example, but many support all of the IEC 61131 languages, so structured text and function block. These are important things to know about because they make you a better programmer, both in understanding how programs work and also in organizing and making an efficient program. So I want to be able to show those to you. So again, Codasys supports all those languages. I also want the software to support more uh, complex or advanced programming functions. And I know that's not very specific, but I'll give you some examples of what I'm thinking here. Some PLC manufacturers don't support custom data types, don't support, uh, I would say, program reusable functions. Uh, and kind of generic names for these are functions, function blocks, add-on instructions, depending on what brand you're working with. So again, Codasys has these, and I think they're important not only to understand because it makes you a better programmer to be able to see an architect in this way, but they also make you more efficient because now you can reuse your code. So these are all the thoughts that are going through my mind when I'm thinking about how to put this together I really want to know what you think. So like I said, I've recorded things already. I've got more things coming. I've got lots of ideas on what is important, but I want to know what you think is important so that I can cover it and make this more useful for you and for everyone. So please leave a comment in the description. Let me know what you're looking for. Let me know what you think about my choice of code assist. After I put together 
uh, a good chunk of the PLC programming cookbook. I am planning on coming back and doing a, this is how Rockwell does things and this is how Omron does things and whatever else. So uh, let me know that as well. What brand are you interested in? I'll come back to those first. Thanks for watching. If there's one thing I like more than making these videos, it's hearing what you have to say about them. So um, leave a comment, share, like, or subscribe. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs>